This is Cletus. I got both hands on a gun right now, so leave a message. There you are, handsome. Hello, Maud. How have you been? Oh, simply wonderful. And you? About the same. Somewhere stuck between joyful and peachy. Even in this world full of scum and detritus, it's only right that we all bear our share. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Take this poor wretch. On the run, desperate, alone, about to learn the true meaning of suffering, all for a few thousand bucks. Think you can find him for me? Every man has his talents, Maud, and the rigorous administration of justice is, uh, is one of mine. That's why I love you, Trevor. I'll send you his file. I don't mean to pry, but is it true about all them bikers that got killed? All you do is pry, Melvin. It's the only thing you got left. I have been feeling fairly betrayed recently by the local community, yes, and seeking reparations for any wrongdoings. I always kind of liked Johnny K. Oh, oh you, oh, you did, did you? Well, there might still be a bit of him on the bottom of my foot if you're pining for a reunion. No, no. Just forget I said anything. Had Cletus in here earlier. Picking up something special for his girl. I can see you with one of those, Trevor. Enjoy. You sure as shit are one dumb, ignorant, white trash hillbilly, Wallace. <laughs> You're damn right! <laughs> Chang, spreadsheet. Let's head outside and talk terms. La 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 la. Quite in. Gentlemen, I think I have proved that my organization can handle weight. And I think I've proved that my organization is a reliable supplier. In short, it's you and me. Now give me some of that goddamn X. I'm afraid we want to go down a different path. What? We want to explore other opportunities. Why, Jaho? Why, sir? Shut the fuck up! Our boss, Mr. Cheng's father, wants something a little larger. We want to move drugs, perhaps guns. This is my life's work. I mean, since I was a little kid, I, I dreamt big. You know, I've always wanted to be an international drug dealer and, and, and a weapons trader. 
All right, so I'm begging you. Let's make this happen. I'm very sorry. You're sorry? You're fucking sorry? I just spilled my fucking guts out to you, and you say to me you're sorry. Who are you working with? Hmm? Who? I'm not at liberty to say. Oh, no, no, no. You're at fucking liberty. In fact, I'd say you are obliged. <laughs> who? Fucking who? 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 The O'Neill brothers. The O'Neill brothers, huh? Yeah. You shitting me? No. Because those fucking O'Neill brothers, I hear a little birdie telling me that they have a bit of a problem. Since one of them's gonna have to be surgically removed from the skull of the other, fuck you guys and fuck them! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah! I just spoke to that maniac, Trevor. He's coming. Get down to the meth lab to protect it. Huh. I hope he don't get through these idiots, but we know they're idiots. Come on, let's go see them Chinese fellas. Oh, how many brothers you got, you inbred freaks? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'll... Remember much about yesterday or the day before, no sir. But it's all good. It's starting, people. Come on. The motherfuckers in the house, that boys. Is a good place to stand. Come on, man. You gonna be talking about shot. Shit for brains. Get that motherfucker out the house. Screw you. I'll kill you. You get out this property. Die, 
Die! 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 Ya fucking weirdo! Get gone! Here, right. Well, fuck me if it ain't him! Get your own fucking business! Fucking die! Fuck Trevor Phillips! Oh my god! It's over! You gonna die in this cookhouse! You piece of shit! Hey, back to your fucking trailer! How about a merger, you pricks? He's been hit! Let's go then! You in our house now. Fuck! Fucking Fuck. O'Neills! <laughs> you fucking asshole! Hey, fuck you! Go home! Find this don't look cover. like a larger operation. Yeah, fuck you, dealer man. Take over time. You piece of shit. Fuck you. Let's see if we can't cut you down to size. Crap, he's heading for the basement. You keep him upstairs. You piece of you shit. You assholes. You're a dead man! Get your own fucking business! Fucker! Shit! He's in the lab! Don't come any closer, all right? I don't know how many of my brothers you smoked, but you ain't touching this lab! So get out of here! Man. Go on now, get! Get gone, you creepy SOB! Get! Get! I'm standing my you ground, you creepy shit. bastard! This lab is all we got! You're dead! Fucker! Get this! Everything you've built, see how it feels! I'm gonna burn it to the ground! for this, assholes! Burn, you disrespectful pricks!
Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. I thought you said you wasn't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up ask... before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I looked through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, come here. Uh, 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 Don't you ever not tell me things I want to know. Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard. Get out here. We're going to Los Santos. Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, Wade, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos soon? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? people at in Los Santos. It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He's bumped in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, uh... That might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause you know, I'm getting kinda wet over here. For fuck's sakes! Another chapter of the lost have descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their debt. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I I I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to well send them on their way to begin with? Grief has a beautiful way of bringing folk together, Wade. Just you wait. And besides, I brought them gifts. Camp's up here. I'll wait till dark before I drop in again.
Hit the road, Wadey. Los Santos, here we come. Can I go, okay? I heard Dr. Like banging and screaming, but then not, not the nice kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have dished you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him, the federal government, they pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired ass movie quotes with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family in a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy to come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, T. Trevor, lube up your eye hole, fucker, because I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I am about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just want to be... Ow! I just want to be way... Are we nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell oh. you. I'll tell you a story, if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have, but he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't, because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Right there, Los Santos, the end of the fucking earth. Oh, get you get, get you get. So this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert. It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. <sighs> so... This is where dead men come back to life, huh? It's been nearly ten years. Oh, but you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You mother fucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's this future beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? Right, 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 right. So, this kid, he could fly planes. So, he signed up for the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe, just maybe, drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable and grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him into a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. 
He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes, he'd go into town and rob the shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they live happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he... Ow! And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? So little Trevor made a new friend called Brad, and he was thinking about cutting Mike off when it all went to shit, and Mike got killed and Brad went to jail. Did all the name checks change, or am I missing something? Oh, oh, we're near Floyd Caps. I've seen it on iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. Just keep on a minute. Keep it straight now. So, now here's like a right. It's straight here. This is the place, I think it is, at least. Cousin Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck. Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink. Oh, you wait. <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here. He's gonna smoke meth here. Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here. Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called in Evelyn's bed. A guy was never approved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. All right, okay. Fuck. 